So for today's weekly Jinx video, we do a Jinx video every Wednesday on this channel with anything to do about Jinx and you decide that topic in the comment section down below. As well as this video acting as a weekly discussion thread video on the Jinx subreddit, League of Jinx, feel free to check that out. And we're going to be talking about the PBE change to Jinx that was announced on Tuesday about pretty much reverting her Season 5 nerf store minigun from patch 5.10 and now kind of giving her minigun the attack speed back. And why this is a thing, I feel, is because we come out of metas, or we came out of metas, let's pretend I know how to speak properly, we came out of metas so far, like a world with the Art and Sister meta, that should have favored hyper carries, and it did, but it didn't favor Jinx. Jinx wasn't considered good enough to be played in a hyper carry, shield peeled Art and Sensor meta, except once by On, and only because for On, Jinx is a pocket pick. They're always are gonna find a way to play Jinx at Worlds no matter what, anyways. So Jinx was gonna be played whether you know hyper carries were meta or not by On at some point. Beyond that, though, we're heading into this Relic Shield kind of meta, potentially, and again, Jinx is not even, you know, talked about as being a top tier or even A tier AD carry in a meta that then will favor scaling and late game and shields and protection. So it means that Jinx isn't really performing well right now in meta that she should be. Now, is she bad? Like the front page of the main subreddit had a post about it. Well, not necessarily. The general consensus was, she's not bad actually, she's not even the worst AD carry. It's just that other AD carries offer more than she does, even in her own strengths. So there's no real reason to ever pick her, unless you're just a Jinx player and just really want to play Jinx, you just like the champion. And that's not really okay. I asked August Browning about an analogy back in Season 6 when it came to win rates and stuff. And the, the general question was kind of like, hey, how do you know when a champion is weak because they need buffs versus they're weak because the meta doesn't favor them? And this isn't his answer verbatim, but it pretty much was on the lines of he used Trinomir as an example. And what he said was, if Trinomir was doing bad as a split pusher and a meta that doesn't favor split pushing, there's a good chance the meta is more of a problem than him needing buffs. So probably maybe some buffs might come through, but not necessarily, they might have to wait for a meta to shift. But if Trindamir was poorly performing in a split-pushing meta where he should be strong, that's a good indication that he probably needs buffs. In his niche, and what he should be good at, he's still not doing well or outperforming on others enough that something's wrong there. Jinx, then, it's the same kind of analogy. Hyper, you know, hyper carries a meta. A lot of shields and peels, which people say Jinx can only be meta if there's shields and peels. Well, there was a ton of them. She's still not meta. She's still not considered good enough and anything but low elo, only because low elo does not know how to close out games, so she can reach late game more often. But, these changes are designed to help Jinx in mid, not really even mid, but just high elo and pro play. She's not been viable there for a while now, even if she's been viable in, let's say, gold and below. And so they want to kind of change that a bit. They want it to be that if it is going to be like a scaling meta or a late game meta, you have more options than this Tristana or Tristana or we didn't ban Tristana, so we lost. Because even without Flash, Tristana can like be safer in so many ways that it's kind of ridiculous that they haven't even thought about nerfing her. Whatever. Totally not biased. But anyway, that's what today's video is about. Discussing this Jinx change, why it's happening, and what do you think will come from it? Do you think it's actually a decent buff? Do you think it might be too much of a buff? Or do you think it's actually just fine? It will help Jinx in a meta she should be strong in without making her out of control and having to be nerfed later. So, thank you so much for watching this video this far if you did. I don't know which video will be next, because life will be quite a mess. So until next time, take care from the Fire Godai FS. Thank you for watching.